Hey folks, so the GHA-15 is mounted to the bottom of the airplane. I'll do a quick zoom out here. It's right there. Um, you'll see we've got a couple of antennas in place. And if we take a peek inside, this is the baggage bulkhead, baggage area over here. This is rear of the airplane. You see we still have this one last skin not in place. And there it is. Let's zoom in just a smidge. The doubler is in place. The doubler is alodyned. Um, I realized that there isn't, that I could find in the manual lady mentioned the need for a ground plane. I wouldn't imagine it needs a ground plane. It just says it needs to be grounded. Um, but we made a doubler. Uh, you can watch our video of how we made this doubler and uh, had it CNC cut. Super simple. Riveted in place, alodyned the doubler. We did scuff the primer off the bottom around where the rivets are and the screws and all that kind of stuff and alodyned that as well to make sure that there's a good electrical bond there. And here's what we're thinking for the wiring. I measured if I split, so my CAN bus is coming this way to the front of the airplane, right? So if I split the CAN bus over here to go that way, I'm adding two feet of CAN bus, roughly, with the surface loop about two feet of CAN bus, if in, in a bunch of rewire, right? Because I have to like pull this back, cut cut into all of this, right? Like it's, it's a lot of work. But if, and we measured, and if we go this way instead, instead of having to go there and back, if we go this way instead to the end of the bus, which is at the yaw servo, it's about three feet. For one foot of extra CAN bus length over what we would have to use, we're saving ourselves a ton of rework, a ton of extra, you know, sort of cramped <laughs> access um, work in there. So I think we're just going to extend it, you know, just add that extra foot, right? And just come off of there, go underneath and to there. And, and we're good. Super simple, super easy. I'm going to call it a retrofit, but it's not, the plane is not flying, right? It's not really a retrofit, but it's a retrofit because we already have the wiring for the can done. Super simple, and uh, this is a good spot. We checked with Garmin, and this is actually where they have it in their RB7, and they're really happy with this location. So we decided to go with what they have uh, used and what works. All right.